felt like my grades were bad, I felt stupid, I had you know barely any friends, I was having a really hard time. I do think I kind of wasted some time in those years with like boys. And I was always stressed about money. I missed out on a lot of parties because I was worried about money. And this was definitely one of the happiest times I've ever experienced in my entire life. Um, I feel like on exchange, I was able to make up for a lot of what I missed in that first year of university. and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my college slash university experience. <laughs> it feels so funny to be filming this video because I don't know, I'm like over a year out of graduation now um, and I don't give university that much thought. It was, it was a time, um, but I got a lot of requests on my last video where I talked about living in Montreal to do a video about my college experience. So you ask, I deliver. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Zoe. I am 24 years old and I live in Montreal. Um, I make videos about career, personal finance, and today I'm making a video about college. So we're going back in time, but I would love for you to subscribe if you like my videos and whether or not you're new, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps the algorithm, lets me know you like videos like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna get super real with you guys about my university experience. We are gonna cover everything, everything, everything. I'll give you guys an agenda in just a sec, but you know, for those of you who might be new, who might be stumbling across this uh, video on my channel, you guys should know that I am just like extremely honest and um, I am gonna get a little bit kind of deep in this video. I'm gonna talk about some of the you know emotional struggles that I had in university as well. So we're not just gonna talk about partying, but we're gonna talk about everything. Um, it's gonna be, you know, a very real video. So grab some coffee, grab some tea, grab some snacks. It's probably gonna be a long one. Let's get into it. So right off the bat, I wanna give you guys an agenda for if there's just specific things you're looking for, you can skip ahead to it. So I'm gonna start off by talking about, you know, where I went to school, uh, the city, the school, and what my major was. Then I'm gonna do a recap of my first year of university. Um, and then I am actually gonna jump into talking about my school in particular, which is Concordia University, talking about the city of Montreal as well. Then I'm gonna go into my second, third, and fourth year. Then I'm gonna talk about clubs and stuff on campus, how you can get involved and make the most of your university experience. Then I'm gonna talk about study abroad or exchange, and I'm gonna wrap it up with my lessons learned. So that is everything that you can expect from this video. Like I said, it's gonna be very chatty, so I've got some chai tea here. I recommend you guys, you know, do the same, get cozy, let's have fun. I kind of wish that this was like a podcast because I feel like I could talk longer, and this is a subject I could go on and on for. You know, I have so many life lessons that I took out of this, so if you guys want a part two, let me know. Um, but yeah, you can mostly just kind of listen to this video. I think I will throw up some pictures on the screen, you know, here and there, but let's chat, let's go. <laughs> okay, so I went to school at Concordia University, which is in the city of Montreal. I grew up in Ottawa, which is a city two hours away. I always felt like I was a city girl and I wanted to go to a city university, so I chose Concordia. Um, and I chose to do a business degree, so my major was human resource management and I did a minor in finance. Um, my bachelor overall is called a Bachelor of Commerce, so that was in the business school, which is called the John Wilson School of Business at Concordia. I will talk more about Concordia overall as a school in my experience, as well as my experience in Montreal later in the video, but that is just an overview of kind of what I studied and where. So let's jump right in by talking about my first year of university. This was not an easy year. Um, I had such high expectations, you know, I was like, I'm moving, I'm gonna live in the city, I'm gonna be so glamorous, I'm gonna make all these friends, I'm gonna live on campus. Um, and a lot of my expectations didn't actually pan out. I had a really horrible first year. I spent a lot of first year crying. I spent a lot of it on the phone with my parents. I spent a lot of it debating changing schools, going back home. Um, it was really, really hard. Starting out, I lived in residence, which was on campus. I lived in the Grey Nuns residence at Concordia, which is like a two minute walk to the business school. And it's right downtown in the center of Montreal. It's a beautiful building. Um, and you know, the building itself is really nice. You had full catering. So you basically didn't need to do groceries. Everything was cooked for you. It was real like student style living. The thing is, this residence was huge, so there was no way that you could know everybody. Um, it didn't feel very cozy to me, it didn't feel very familiar, and unfortunately, I did not get along with the people who lived on my floor at all. 
So I lived with a roommate, Camilla, who is still one of my very best friends. So, you know, I talk a lot of shit about my first year in university and first year living in res and how much I hated it. But at the end of the day, it really brought me, you know, a longtime friend and a longtime roommate. So I think it was all worth it, but it definitely wasn't easy. So her and I got along and we had no problems, but I just did not get along with my neighbors. I was really uptight in first year. Um, I wanted to party, but I didn't want to party every single day of the week. And I lived on like the party floor. So it was super loud. People were always drunk and high, um, making tons of noise. And I just hated it. So I would like call the res phone and like snitch on them. And they knew it was me and they hated me. Um, and sometimes they'd be having parties and I'd have to leave my room to go to the bathroom in the night and they would like yell at me. Um, literally everybody hated me and it was actually a nightmare. And you know, in hindsight, I definitely kind of brought some of that upon myself. They were definitely meaner than they needed to be to me. Um, but I was also a bitch, so <laughs> whatever. You know, that was a learning experience for me. I was way too judgmental, I was mean. Um, and I just had a horrible time, so. Yeah, residence was really hard. The other thing first year was I had a boyfriend who lived in another city and I was always missing him. I was always on the phone with him. So I wasn't really like living in the moment. I was always kind of wishing I was somewhere else. Even when I was in class, I'd be texting my boyfriend. Um, I'd be like wishing I was back in Ottawa. I was always leaving on the weekends to go to Ottawa. Like I just never let myself ease into first year and like get used to being where I was. I was always wishing I was somewhere else. I also didn't like any of my classes. They were really hard. I remember having Econ 101, Economics 101, where it was in a huge auditorium. It looked like a movie theater. And you know, you had a tiny desk and I'm left-handed. So those desks are actually really hard for me to write on. Um, nobody talked to each other in class. I tried talking to people. I tried making friends. It just didn't work. Um, it was really, really hard. I wasn't doing well in my classes. I would not pay attention in class. I would go on my phone the entire time. I would skip class. And yeah, it just was really hard. I went from being like a straight A student in high school to getting like 70s, which I thought was bad. <laughs> just wait until the next years came around. But I felt like my grades were bad. I felt stupid. I had you know barely any friends. I was having a really hard time. I remember going to class, sitting there and being on Instagram. And there was this one woman, she was, she was actually a woman, she had a kid, um, who I was obsessed with. She was like a mommy blogger on Instagram. And I would stare at her profile, wishing I was her, wishing I could fast forward to being married and having a kid. Um, and I would just stare at her pictures the entire class. Like I was so miserable. So first year was not a vibe. Um, I actually considered changing Schools. I considered you know, moving back to Ottawa because I was looking at all of my friends from high school who stayed in Ottawa having so much fun. Um, so I was looking to transfer, but this little voice inside my head was like, don't give up just yet, Zoe. This is what you always wanted. Don't give up just yet. So I ended up staying at Concordia and I will talk about why I ended up staying in a minute, but now I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about the school and talk about the city of Montreal. So Concordia University has two campuses. We have a downtown campus and we have a Loyola campus. The Loyola campus is a little bit outside of the downtown core and it looks like your picture perfect grass campus with the nice old buildings, lots of grass. It looks, you know, like a real university. Um, whereas my, you know, downtown campus looked like an office tower. So I kind of, that's one of the things I don't like about Concordia is that it really is a concrete jungle. Um, you don't get that like college campus feel, which I really missed after a few years. You know, first year was fine, second year was fine. By third and fourth year, I was like, give me some grass. Um, so I think if you do go to Concordia, you know, try and maybe get some classes at Loyola or if a campus is really important to you, probably Concordia is not the school for you just because it really is a city school. Um, overall, Concordia is a very liberal school, so you will see a lot of activism on campus, which I think is great. I think, you know, it really opened my eyes to a lot of things about politics and things about, you know, women's rights that I hadn't actually been that exposed to growing up in a very conservative city, um, which was Ottawa. So I really liked being, you know, having my mind opened up to a lot of social causes at university. Um, 
And I think that's really cool. I think, you know, university is a great time to expand your horizons. I learned about veganism. Um, I learned so much about women's rights and I learned a lot about politics that I just didn't know. So that's a cool thing about Concordia. It's very left though. So if you feel like you're somebody who's like not very left, if you're like very right, you might not like the vibe at Concordia. Um, that being said, the business school is a business school. So it is, you know, a business school <laughs> so you don't get as much of that activism within the business school um, but you will get that feel on campus overall so the business school at concordia is called the john wilson school of business that is where i went i did have a lot of pride for jmsb i don't i can't say i had that much pride for concordia as a whole and just in general it's not the kind of school that has tons of pride if you compare it to you know, McGill, which is another school in Montreal. McGill has a lot of school pride. Um, Concordia doesn't have as much. It's kind of a place I felt, this is all, you know, just in my experience, I felt like it was a place where people went to class and then they went home. Uh, they weren't necessarily there to make friends. They weren't necessarily there to like make memories. They were there to get their degree and get out. You can find places within school where people are there to make friends and are there to make memories. And luckily I was able to do that. And I will talk about how after, but it's not that, you know, warm college campus feel if you compare it to a university like Queens, if you compare it to university like St. FX, Waterloo, um, and then especially if you compare it to American universities, Concordia just doesn't have that feel. And that is something I wish I knew going into it because there were moments where I missed that like college campus like feel. Um, and Concordia just doesn't have that. That being said, the city of Montreal is awesome and it's actually been rated like one of the top cities for students worldwide. That is because the cost of living is super cheap. You can drink at the age of 18. There are so many clubs, so many bars, so many parties. So there are so many ways to have fun in the city of Montreal. I loved being in Montreal and you know, a big thing that I ended up liking to do was go clubbing. So I wasn't a big like party girl at college parties. I did not go to frats. Like frats grossed me out, no offense. Um, I, so no frat parties for me. I'm a bit of a priss if you can't tell. Um, so I just loved dressing up and going clubbing with my girlfriends. That was like my thing that I liked to do. So if you like going clubbing, you can definitely get a lot of that in Montreal. Um, and yeah, like there's just so much food and there's so many things to do that are just cheap and free. So Montreal is a really fun city for students. There's also lots and lots of international students so you can meet people from all over the world. And I think that's really cool as well. Something that is important to know, Montreal is freezing, okay? We have really bad, long, icy, cold, dark winters. So make sure you brace yourself for that. On another video, somebody asked me like for tips for dealing with the winter a positive attitude and a warm coat. Those are the things you need. Also try and get involved in like winter activities like skiing and just really making the most of winter. It's obviously doable, like people obviously live here, but if you hate winter, this might not be the place for you. Overall, I think with Concordia and with Montreal, it really is what you make it. It's not the kind of school where people will walk up to you and be like, hey, how are you? Where are you from? You know, it's really not like that. You do have to put yourself out there, but if you do, you can really find your group and find your niche and you can really make the most of it, but you kind of have to put a lot in in order to get a lot out. That's what I really found with Concordia University. Okay, so now let's talk about my second, third, and fourth years of school. So it actually took me five years to graduate college. I took an extra year because I took a lot of extra electives um, and I just wanted to take things slow. Luckily, I didn't fail any classes. Um, I passed every single class I ever took and I always took a full-time course load, but yeah, I just took some extra classes to um, learn more and blah, 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 I'm kind of a nerd. So I took five years to graduate, but my second, third, and fourth year were very interesting. So the first thing to note is I joined a club that completely changed my life. So like I said before, at the end of first year, I was super discouraged. I wanted to change schools and I was even considering changing majors because I didn't like being in business school I wanted to go into creative writing so I applied to be part of this club called the case competition committee and I will talk more about what case competitions are later in the video in the clubs section but basically this is a club where you do where you solve business cases and give presentations I wanted to be part of this club so badly. It looked so much fun. You got to travel, you got to make friends, work in teams. And 
when we went to the open house for Concordia, we listened to a presentation by them and my family said to me, Zoe, that is for you. You would be so good at that. So all the first year I was going to events with them, trying to get into this club. You had to do an audition because you have to be placed on a team. There's like only a certain amount of people that can get in. And at the end of my first year, I auditioned. I waited all summer to get the news and I told myself, if I don't get into this club, I'm gonna change majors. I got into the club and it completely changed my life and I'm so glad I stayed in the business school because I was just able to be involved with this club and really like my classes more. So in second year and third year and fourth year, things started to look up. Um, I, you know, I was doing better in my classes. Some were still really hard. And I think that's you know an important thing to talk about is like you have such a diverse array of classes in university that you can't be good at all of them and I was really hard on myself whenever I was bad at a class like if I ever got you know like a C on a test or even if I got a B I'd be really hard on myself I would cry I would you know do a lot of like negative self-talk while I was studying I would tell myself I was stupid like I just cried so much in university and like looking back I'm like why did you care so much like none of that matters now like I think I'm in a really good place post-grad um, in terms of like job and salary blah 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 and I didn't need to get an A plus in all of my classes like it doesn't matter but we just put such pressure on ourselves that just comes out of nowhere and I wish I could go back and change that but that was my reality for a lot of university was just putting this crazy amount of pressure on myself so I was having fun I started to enjoy you know life more in second third fourth year but it was still hard Another thing that I did during this time was I had a boyfriend. I actually had two different boyfriends, so not the first one, first guy was gone. Um, I got another boyfriend in second year. And I just think I spent way too much time with him and I should have been spending time making friends. So that's a big lesson that I learned is like to not focus so much on boys and just focus on your grades and focus on making friends. Um, I do think I kind of wasted some time in those years with like boys. You know what I mean? Parties were fun. I was able to go to more parties with my new association. Um, however, I was never the type to like go to the bar after class. Um, I really hated that in fact. Some of it was because I was too stressed. Like I was like, oh, I can't go to the bar. I need to go home and study. But instead I'd go home and like cry or watch TV or go hang out with my boyfriend. Um, so I feel like I missed out on some parties, but at the same time, I just wasn't a big party person. That said, even though I didn't always want to be there, I always had FOMO fear of missing out, so that wasn't the best. Um, what else? I was, I got some internships, so that was really cool. I do recommend getting internships if you can while you're in university because it's a good learning experience. It looks really good on your CV for when you want to apply to full-time jobs, and it also is gonna teach you what you like in a job and what you don't like. So that was kind of like just an overall summary of you know, the middle years of my university experience. If you would like me to go into more details about my business degree itself, I think it's too much details for this video, but let me know if you want a video about my business degree. Okay, I know this video is getting a bit long, but we're almost there. So now I wanna talk about student clubs and just how getting involved really changed my life and my university experience. So I already talked a little bit about the case competitions, so let me go more into detail about that. Case competitions are so fun. They are pretty much just for business students, but you can find an equivalent for any major that you have. There's Model UN. Um, I know they have similar things in engineering. And basically you get put on a team with either two others or three others, so teams of three or four, and you get given a business case that mimics like a real world problem and then you have to solve it so you basically you just work in your teams you solve it it's super stressful it's super fun and then you give a presentation there are a panel of judges that will judge your presentation ask you questions and then they rank all of the teams and it's literally a competition so i got to travel to different schools across canada to you know perform in these case competitions and i was really good at it i really loved it i had felt like i really found my people some of my best friends to this day are people that i met in case competitions and the highlight of my case comp experience was when i got sent to australia so i got to go to melbourne australia with three friends to perform in a case competition it was absolutely insane we got to go for free so you never know what kind of experiences can come out of joining a club so i just think it's absolutely amazing we don't really have like fraternities or sororities in canada so i feel like this 
made up for that kind of sorority experience that I might have otherwise had. Um, but it was boys and girls, so I got to make you know friends with boys and girls, and it was just so awesome. After joining the case competitions, I wanted to get more involved at university, so I joined like student government. I actually had to run and put like posters up in the school saying like vote for Zoe. So I was the VP academic of our business student society. So it was like kind of a big deal looking back. Um, in the moment, I like didn't really think it was a big deal, but looking back, it was pretty impressive what I did. Um, I, ran, I ran alone, so nobody was like, there was nobody else to vote for. It was like either you voted yes for me or no. 17 people, I think, voted no, so I don't know. But yeah, so I was on student government um, and it was really fun. I was able to make lots of friends and we did things like throw parties together. We went camping. I was also able to throw events, so I made you know, events for hiring and things to help the students. The coolest thing that I did was I helped develop a tutoring app. So it was where students could either apply themselves to be tutors or apply to be tutored. And we would match the, you know, two doors with the two T's. And it was like peer to peer tutoring to, you know, promote paying students and having cheaper tutoring services for kids on campus. So that was one of the coolest things that I ever did. Um, and it looked really good on my CV. It was a big reason of how I was able to get a job in consulting afterwards. So student clubs are really, really cool, but you don't have to join like super academic clubs like I did. There are like fashion societies, vegan societies, like sports, like anything you can join on campus is just really gonna enhance your campus experience. And I think it's a way to make friends. Like I was struggling to make friends until I joined these clubs and I was able to make lifelong friends out of it. So I do think it's really important. I do think it looks really good on your CV and overall it's just gonna enhance your experience so much. So like I told you guys, I took five years to graduate university and in my fifth and final year, in my very last semester, I went on exchange. So the semester before I went on exchange, I was like never in school. I like skipped class all the time. It was really bad. I was just pretty much like all of my friends had graduated. I was not mentally there. I was just like, get me out of here. And I was so excited to go on exchange. So during you know the semester before, I was doing all my paperwork, doing all my applications, and I got my approval. I'm going to Australia. So I went to Australia for my last semester of school. And this was definitely one of the happiest times I've ever experienced in my entire life. Um, I feel like on exchange, I was able to make up for a lot of what I missed in that first year of university. Um, I lived in a dorm. I got along with my roommate. I got along with everybody in the dorm. And you know I partied a lot. I just, I was like an 18 year old for six months and it really gave me back exactly like I said, it gave me back what I was missing in my first year. Um, I tried not to worry about money. I tried not to worry about how my body image was or anything like that. I just ate and drank and it was amazing. I'm not saying you need to party to have fun, but you know, partying I think is a big part of college culture that I kind of missed out on. So I was able to get it on exchange and it was just so fun. So if you're thinking about going on exchange, definitely do it. It's obviously super expensive, but you know, I took out debt to be able to go. I am currently paying it off. And for one second, do I regret it? No, like it's the best money you can ever spend. Um, and I have lots of videos about my exchange experience up on my channel, so you can check them out. I'll link a few of them down below if you wanna see what I got up to in Australia, but exchange was absolutely amazing. So let's wrap up this video with some lessons learned. I already talked about boys, but I think that is a big one is, I think, you know, us girls, we really tend to get caught up in boys at this age in our lives, you know, like our early 20s, our late teens. Um, I think I had this pressure that I needed to like find my partner in university because I thought that that was the best time to meet someone. I thought that I would meet the person I was gonna marry in university, so I put a lot of pressure on dating, I put a lot of pressure on my relationships, and like I said, I prioritized that over making friends. You can meet people anywhere, anytime. Like, we're here in a pandemic and you've got dating on your phone, like it's fine. Don't worry about boys, like please, I implore you, don't spend your time worrying about boys in university. Make friends, make memories. It's just so much more worth it. And the next thing is money. I worried way too much about money in university. Um, I didn't have parents that were like constantly feeding me money and I was always jealous of the kids that did. I had to work, I had a part-time job all throughout university and I was always stressed about money. I missed out on a lot of parties because I was worried about money. 
um, or I missed out on parties and events because I was working and I would always work more than I needed to. I think I even prioritized work over studying at some points and I wish I had just relaxed, maybe taken on a little bit more debt um, and even studied harder than I did. So that is a big lesson learned is like, just you're only in university once and you're only this young once and you have the rest of your life where you probably will be worried about money. So don't start now. Like I just wish I could look back and just go back and be like, just relax Zoe. Like I was so stressed all the time. Speaking of stress, the next lesson I learned is don't worry about your grades so much. I find worrying about grades actually makes it harder to study. Like there would be times where I would sit down in the library ready to study and I'd be like, the voices in my head, you're stupid, you can't do it, you'll never get a good grade. And rather than study, I would just sit there worrying. First of all, I'm graduated, I graduated and I went to work at a big company, you know, with like a big fancy consulting job and my GPA wasn't stellar, okay? I got in because of my clubs, I got in because of my work experience, I got in because of my personality, I did not get in because I had a 4.0 GPA. You don't need a 4.0 GPA. like you're fine take some of the pressure off i do think you know if you want to go to my, like if you want to go to um if you want to do your masters if you grades are important i'm not telling you to slack off but like worrying about them isn't going to change anything so just enjoy life have fun studying and i think your grades will be better as a result of that but just like don't tell yourself you're stupid be kind to yourself it's such a waste of time to be so mean to yourself about grades when the second you graduate none of it matters anymore the last thing is I wish I had gone out more. Like I I don't love, you know, the whole parties and bar scenes, but there were times where I wanted to go out and just didn't. And I kind of wish I had just relaxed and gone out more. So overall, I wish I had just relaxed more in university, had fun and realized that this was like a single point in time in my life that I may never get back. Um, and, you know, looking back, I can regret it, I can wish I had done all these things more, but all I can do is give my advice to you guys. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, those are all my lessons learned. That is everything from my university experience. If you guys want a part two of this where I talk about my major or do a Q and A, let me know because I do think it is a really interesting topic. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll talk to you all in my next one. Bye.